Before the sun was even up Thursday, crews were already working, racing to keep the Mississippi River Delta as free of oil as possible. We can't sit and wait for this stuff to come ashore and say we did our best. That's not good enough. Nungesser is president of Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, which is expected to be ground zero as the oil reaches here in the next few hours. This is huge. This has the potential to destroy all of coastal Louisiana and, and even the beaches in, in uh, Mississippi and Alabama. This is what they're fighting to protect. Wetlands, marshes teeming with birds and fish. By midday, many of the barrier islands at the mouth of the Mississippi had been wrapped with orange floating containment devices known as booms. They are expected to hold back the oil and keep it off the marshes. Literally, a last line of defense. If it doesn't work, the results could be devastating. I'm frightened for the country, for the environment. Uh, I, I, this is just a huge uh, problem for this country and our environment. And um, it, it's just it, uh, going to take a massive effort for, for us to work this through and do the right things. And it is expected to continue right now. Some 5,000 barrels of oil a day are leaking into the Gulf of Mexico. That means before this is over, some 4 million gallons of oil could leak into the Gulf. By comparison, the Exxon Valdez spilled 11 million gallons of oil. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Venice, Louisiana.